Good morning, everybody. It is what day is today? Even Wednesday, January something. Uh, January eleventh. Um, as you can tell, I am sick. I have been home for two days. Some kind of bug started out on Sunday night. Got a real warm sensation going down my face. And then my neck hurt. And then it kind of settled in my ear. And then I had vertigo, which is like very dizzy. Like you just sit here and just you get very, very dizzy. I still kind of have it a little bit, actually. Um, so then I woke up the next day. I was so super dizzy. I had to take my vertigo medicine, which I haven't taken in forever. And then. I went to bed and woke up Monday sick as hell. My throat feels like I swallowed razor blades. My chest hurts. It's so tight and it hurts. And I, so I got a cold. I got a bad cold, which is going around. Everybody's got it. Um, but I was so bad. Yesterday, my temperature was... I usually have a low temperature. Like you, Most people are 98.6. I'm usually 97, 96, 97. Yesterday it got down. Usually when you're sick, you go up. Mine went down to 94.4. I was like, what the hell? I was freezing. So I had to plug in my electric blanket and got under that. I had my sheet, electric blanket, my comforter, and then three other blankets on top. Three like little throw blankets on top. And then a wool blanket on top of that. Oh my God, I could not get warm. So finally... Um, temperature started going up and uh, I got it up to 96 which I felt okay about because that's my normal is 96 97 so um, I started to feel a little better so that yeah, was scary uh, so yesterday I started feeling a little better last night I was feeling a little better and uh, this morning I woke up like this so my nose is really stuffy and I'm going to end up with a sinus infection because that always happens. I apologize for the sun again. We're, we're on that road that the sun is, but it'll, once I turn up here, it'll go away. Um, anyway, before I, I just like went off on a tangent once again. What else is new, D? My name is D. I do vid 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 video, yeah. video diaries. Um, just about my thoughts and dreams and whatever's going on in my life. Um, I do them every day when I'm in a car by myself. <coughs> Excuse me, I apologize. <coughs> um, so my daughter and I also share this channel. We do some videos together. It's a ride along, ride along with D, ride along with Sarah and D on the way to cheer, or practice, or whatever. Just whatever. So subscribe below if you want to see more. Some of them are very interesting. Some of them are funny. Some of them not so much. Some of them I put on. Some of them I don't. Only because. Some of this stuff's too personal that I don't need to share with everybody, but I want my daughter to have record of. Um, and I do not edit. I will not edit any of my videos. What you see is what you get. I add nothing, or I don't take anything away from it. Nothing comes out of it. There will be times when I'll be in a car and I'll be running errands or something. So I go in the car, talk, then I get out of the car and I go into, let's say, the nail salon or the hair or whatever. And, <coughs> excuse me again. And I'm sorry, I have to wipe my nose. And it's running like crazy. And then I'll have to um, stop it because I can't video people in the nail salon. And then I get back in the car and then I begin it again. And then so on and so forth. So I won't take things away, but I might splice things together. I might add a couple of videos together. I don't know how to start and stop it from this. I don't know how to do that. So I have to put them together. That's the only kind of editing that I will do. As of right now. Um, I do know how to edit. I just choose not to. Uh, so. If you like this. Give me a thumbs up. If you don't. Please just move on to the next video. You don't have to watch it. And I apologize if you don't like it. Some people are not into what I have to say. and Some people could care less. And I, it is what it is. I mean if you want to watch it cool. If not like I said. It's a video for my daughter and myself. And like a diary or whatever. So anyway. Um. I'm on my way to work. Something in my eye. <coughs> I am sick as hell. My boss texted me last night and she said, How are you feeling? She said, Are you coming in tomorrow? I 
I said, yeah, I'll be in. She says, oh, are you sure? She said, I said, I feel like crap, but I'll be in. She said, if not, I have to cancel. She said, we were slammed today. I have to cancel some, some meetings if you can't come in. I'm like, no, I'm coming in. Do what you got. Don't cancel anything. So, kind of feel obligated to go in to, to float the boat while she's in her meetings. But, uh, Monday I worked from home. Oh, my God. I was, I was sick, but not super sick. Yesterday, oh, Lord, what's going on there? Looks like they cleaned out that house. Um, all kinds of crap was out. Like, old nasty mattresses and stuff outside for trash. Um, she, uh, <coughs> Monday I worked from home. I was sick, but I was working. Yesterday I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. And today, I shouldn't do it. Like I told my daughter, so I don't even care. Like, what my hair is a mess, whatever. I don't care. Oh, Lord, something's definitely in my... They're lucky I'm even going in, you know what I mean? Um... And then I had makeup, and then I took a shower. Cause let me tell you what, man, the girl was ripe. I didn't take a shower for like, the whole weekend, man. I was like, <laughs> I took one Friday, and then <coughs> Saturday something happened, and I got derailed. So I just threw my hair up. <coughs> and then Sunday was cheer. And we were running late, so I was like, crap. And then Sunday nights when I started getting sick. So yeah, it's been since Friday. <laughs> Friday till today. Let me tell you what. I didn't look to see if there was a ring at the bottom of the shower or not. I'm dirt. <laughs> not that I do anything to get dirty, but still, you know. You know how it is. I was waiting for my family to say, something smells. And I'd be like, yeah, it's me. <laughs> I was putting deodorant on and washing my face and brushing my teeth and all. I just, I'm looking for my mirror so I can get this whatever's out of my eye issues oh it's only one of these days you know when you're sick it's just like everything just kind of goes awry here it is it's right there everything just kind of doesn't go your way and oh lord what is in my eye all right i need to wait till i stop um just everything seems so cumbersome and so ugh, that's how it is today like it's very i'm a very anxious person today And then my friend, his husband's sick, took him to the hospital this morning, so I'm worried about him. He uh, has some stomach issues, throwing up some what they think is blood. So, <coughs> they're in the ER. So he won't be at work today. So I'm waiting to hear from him, see what's going on. Uh, what else? Sarah has her, their first competitions this weekend. She's a nervous wreck. I've never seen her this bad before. She loves it. But she's a nervous freaking wreck, man. And, uh, I'm stopping at a red light, so. And, uh, she's not too sure about this dance. It's very, very fast. And she's very much a perfectionist. What the heck is in my eye? I don't like it. What is it? Um, she's a perfectionist, so she wants to get it right and, and wants it to be perfect. Where is it? It's right here. My okay. Um, she wants it to be perfect, and it's not. And I'm like, you got to keep practicing. Keep practicing. And she said she needs more room to practice because apparently she got to get on the floor and roll, or I don't know. She won't let me say it until it's done. Until she, you know, whatever. I don't know. So. Usually when we go to practice, I'll either sit in the car or sometimes I'll go in and watch. Sunday, she made me sit and they were learning to dance, so she made me sit in the car. Well, they learned to dance the week before, but she went, so I guess she wants to surprise me with the dance. I don't know. She, she's a perfectionist, like I said, so she doesn't want anybody to see her imperfections. So when she's doing it, then she gets upset because she doesn't get it right away. Ugh. So, that's that. What else? So that's, yeah, so Sunday's her first competition, so we're heading out Saturday. Friday, I have a funeral. My aunt passed away, and she said, um, she would have been 80. She died the day before her birthday. And, uh, so that's Friday. And then Saturday, we're heading out, because we have to head, we have to drive to where we're going for competition. We have to stay overnight, so, because it's a little far drive for us, so, uh, do that Saturday drive up there and then Sunday competition 
Mm -hmm. I hope they do well. Um, I think they will. They're really, really good. She's on a level six team, um, open team. They're, they're, they're good. They're good. Um, so I hope they do well. And that's Sunday. And then Monday I'm off because it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So we were going to stay another day, and I, you know, I don't want to spend the money just to just to be up there, you know, just to stay in a hotel and then have to drive home. So we'll be driving home Sunday night, um, and then I'll have Monday to relax. I'm going to stop sign now, I think, so I can look at this eye. Oh, Lord. What is it? Oh my gosh, I found it. Oh my gosh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Is that mic brakes doing that crunching noise? Oh no, I can't afford brakes. Something don't hurt. It probably is. My husband took my car the other day. Every time he drives, I hate when other people drive my car because then I get it back and there's something wrong with it. Not that they do it on purpose, it's just people drive differently, so the car's used to my touch. And you get somebody else in it. Uh, I was supposed to be at work like seven minutes ago. Honestly, I don't care. Right now, today, I don't care. I don't care. It's warm today. Oh, temperature. I forgot to do temperature. I do it every day. It's 40 degrees today. This morning. 837. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, see how hard that oh it hurts so bad. I can't get a full cough out because it hurts so bad. All last night I was going <coughs> trying to get the cough out because <coughs> I didn't <coughs> oh I didn't want to cough because it hurts. So yeah. Um so it's a nice sunny day out. It's Rain, it rained last night. It was freezing cold. It was like in the like zero degrees or whatever wind chill for the past couple days. So today it's kind of warm. Um, we had the dog out finally. Poor dog. Like he likes to be outside, but it's been too cold for him to be out. So like we take him out, bring him right back in because it's too it's too much. He's an Alaskan dog. He's got a lot of fur, but he acclimated to our weather. <coughs> We're in the Northeast. <coughs> So, you know, when you get used to your weather, um, dogs are the same way, I guess. So, I don't I don't feel it's right for him to be outside in the cold. So, we just take him out, let him do his business, and come back in. And actually, it was like, I don't know, 40-some degrees one day, and he was outside for like 10 minutes, and the dog cried to come in. Like, he spoiled. Like, oh, crap, that is my brakes. No. outside for a little bit today because he's been cooped up in the house man the poor thing and uh so my daughter put him out but it's kind of muddy out because it's rainy and so when i left i was like let him back in like it's too muddy for that poor dog so he was out for about an hour or so had his little fresh air and all and get him back in there and let him relax he doesn't like bass at all Apparently neither do I. It's like four days since I took one, but I took one today. Um, and what else? I thought that the shower would help clear up some of this stuff. I think it just made it. Maybe it did. Maybe it like it helped it come out more. I don't know. Uh, this is worse than I was yesterday. Like not good. I just don't want it to go into a sinus infection. I'm trying to keep blowing my nose and getting it out. <coughs> it out as much as possible. I'll get into work and get some tea. The honey and lemon. Yes. And then I'm just going to sit in my cube and pray to God nobody bothers me. Nobody talks to me. Just let me sit there and do my job. Don't anybody come with any issues, problems, nothing today. Because I am not having it. I am not in the mood. Tonight... Wednesday night. I don't have anything going on. Oh, I've been watching. I, I stumbled on it last night. 
I've heard it. God, these brakes are grinding. I've heard of Scientology before, and I didn't know what it was. I mean, it was. I'm, I'm from. I grew up in the '70s, um, and I remember my mom having a book of Dianetics or something by L. Ron Hubbard. And it was like the big to-do back in the day. <clears throat> she had the book, but nothing ever came of it. I was born and raised a Catholic. Um, but I think it was like the big thing that he came out with. It was a new religion or whatever back in the day. So anyway, then I keep hearing you know, throughout the years bad things about Scientology. I'm like, whatever, whatever. I'm like, oh, it's a cult, it's a cult, whatever. I just stay away from it. I'm Catholic, I'm Christian. I believe what I believe, people or whatever. Um, to each his own kind of thing. Well, last night I was, and I remember hearing Leah Remini, 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 whatever her name is, the girl from King of Queens. She uh, broke out of Scientology, and I didn't. I, she was into it, and now she's not. And I know there's a lot of other movie stars are or whatever. It's their business. Like I said, um, you want to give your money away to make other people rich. That's your business. So I don't care. Um, so. She did, she broke out and then she wrote a book apparently. So last night I was going through the remote, like going through the channels and I stumbled across her. I like her. I think she's a cool person. I think she's funny. <coughs> she entertains me. So I was like, well, what's she doing? So I put it on. Well, here she's got a series out now about exposing Scientology and what they're really about and whatnot. So, oh my God, if you have not seen it, I suggest you all watch it. Make up your own mind. I'm not going to make up your mind for you, but... Watch her series. It's called Leah Remy oh, something Scientology. I don't know. She uh, talks about her experience, and then she talks to other people about their experience with the religion, with the with the organization. It's very, very, very interesting. To the point, last night was her season finale. It was at ten o'clock last night, so I think I stumbled on it around six. So I watched, I think, pretty much her entire series. Um, Right late. Sorry. Um, I'm not sure the ones I missed prior to, but I watched from the, you know, 6 o'clock on. So I watched several episodes. And, oh, talk about interesting. I couldn't stop watching it. Um, but I'm not going to say one way or another. I, like I said, I'm Catholic. I believe in my faith and my religion. And I think, honestly, I think the people that are into it are... How do I say... I don't want to say brainwashed, but I think they're brainwashed. I mean, uh, compared to what I believe, to what they believe, I, I, it's it's odd to me that people actually believe the stuff, and that people are okay with the stuff, and then like to give all your money to a church. That what what are they doing with it? And then then it became tax exempt, and I don't know how they became tax exempt because I'm sure that the guy that runs the thing is using it for. I mean, I'd like to see where he lives. What's his lifestyle? Does he go on vacation? No one's allowed to go on vacation. Like it's, to me, it's like a cult, but it's the definition that I know of to be a cult, but I don't know for sure. <coughs> you gotta watch her thing. It's phenomenal. Well, anyway, I'm at work at my destination. Let me get in here and get comfy and uh, get my tea and sit back and stay under the radar today because I'm not feeling well. So I hope everybody has a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.